guys, how's it going? Tess back again with another episode of the Spurs career mode and there's been a huge, huge transfer in at the market. Obviously, Real Madrid sold Benzema to Arsenal who incidentally played against us in the last episode. He's been replaced at Real Madrid by Robert Lewandowski and another massive move. £26.5 million is the price that Juan Mata was uh, was worth and move from Chelsea to Barcelona. So the Spanish giants definitely strengthening and uh, should we come up against them in the Champions League next season if we qualify then uh, hopefully we'll be playing against that sort of quality abroad as well as at home in the Premier League but so we came close there in the opening uh, few minutes against Norwich but uh, they defended very very well actually in the opening uh, opening half to this game Chadley has shown great feet to keep the ball inside the box does get taken down just kind of barged off it and uh, the referee does deem that a foul points to the spot you can see player just I think it's Basson just kind of headbutts Chadley in the chin knocks him flying and it is definitely a penalty so uh, actually Chadley has one of the best penalty taking abilities in the team when Soldado's not on the pitch so uh, I'm going to let him take it he's actually going to put it into the roof of the net fortunate that the goalkeeper doesn't get it but don't worry calm down I love that new celebration it's uh, L you have to unlock it I think from the EA Sports Football Club but it's hold LB double tap Y and he'll do that Ronaldo calm down celebration I absolutely love that and uh, definitely going to be trying to do some uh, some of the new celebrations in this series and on Pac-Man as well so I'd add some more variety to uh, to the series but Jermaine Defoe there scores a typical goal for him he loves to cut inside and score goals like that from the edge of the box on either foot and that was a very very nice finish from him and now uh, we actually went from strength to strength in the second half what a ball from David Labba through to Christian Eriksen brings it down and then just manages to get there ahead of John Ruddy to lift the ball into the back of the net to give us a 3-0 lead those two goals came pretty close together and then as we push forward just 10 minutes from time uh, unfortunately Unfortunately, the, uh, the cross isn't going to find the defender it's aimed for, but uh, Jermaine Defoe again with another strike from the edge of the box. Too much power on it from the goalkeeper to cope with, and he just palms it into the side netting, and we take a comfortable 4-0 win from this game. And uh, really, really pleased, actually, because obviously we lost against Arsenal in uh, really, really bad circumstances with a late goal in the last episode. We bounced back from that with a win against Swansea, and we've gone from strength to strength in this one. But this is the new look to transfer deadline day. As you can see, it does look very, very nice indeed. On the, uh, the right-hand side, you can see me flicking through between the latest deals and the top deals in this particular transfer window. And uh, on the left-hand side, if you actually scroll with your right stick on the left-hand side when you're on that little tab there, you can actually see the players in and the players out for each team in your uh, respective league. And the uh, the total spent today actually updates in real time as well. It's a really nice addition, and I actually really do like the way that uh, transfer deadline day looks this year. But uh, at the end of the uh, at the end of the transfer deadline day, 70 million pounds was spent in the Premier League. A lot of money being spent there. But we're coming into the second game of this episode. It's actually a league cup game against Brentford so it's going to be tough I actually put Soldado and Lamella back into the side for this one just to give them a sort of feel for lower league English football let them kind of grind out the uh, the win if we could get it and uh you know, give them experience of all levels of English football as they're new to the club. But Soldado went close there, rifling the ball back off the post. Brentford put so many men behind the ball at all times that it really was very, very difficult to break them down. Much like Norwich in the first half of the previous game, because we made the breakthrough against Norwich just before half time that kind of def deflated their spirits, and uh, we were able to. Um, able to pull out a 4 a win and Soldado hits a, the post for a second time in this one still not able to make the breakthrough win 0-0 made a couple of changes brought on Dembele to add a bit of pace and Chadley again to add a bit of strength out wide but unfortunately we weren't able to make the breakthrough in normal time we pushed through into extra time and it wasn't long straight after the restart Dembele's going to cut inside here with a lovely Ronaldo chop. Drives into the box on his favoured foot but can't quite find the right angle to get the shot past the goalkeeper into the back of the net. And it does stay at 0-0. And then later on in that same first half of extra time, just a couple of minutes later, Soldado is going to work the ball just wide of the post with that lovely finesse shot. Really, really unfortunate there. Soldado's going to get another chance here. This is absolutely spectacular. Carl Norton is going to get the ball down the right hand side. He's going to whip it in and watch Soldado at the bottom of the screen lovely technique on that shot and if that had gone into the back of the net that would have been a fantastic way to win it but unfortunately it didn't go in we do go to penalties and it is of course our first penalty shootout of the series so far Brad Friedel saved the first one there were some really really nice pens in this one Soldado there just getting it underneath the roof and I did speed it up a little bit so it's not quite so tedious but uh, this pen from Trotter was especially good just underside of the bar and uh, Brad Friedel went the right way but couldn't quite get there now so Chadley this time puts it around the goalkeeper as the goalkeeper stayed in the middle just like John Ruddy did in the Norwich game but this time he's able to put it into the top corner 
Brentford then score their next one, so it's all on the line still. Eric Lamella is going to step up, puts it away from the goalkeeper right underneath the bar. I'm really, really pleased with uh, the uh, the quality of the penalties we've got in this side of the minute. McCormack misses. Bradfield makes another good save. And I'm going to play some rotation players in these small Champions League, not Champions League, small Europa League and uh, League Cup games because... Uh, it, it means it's a good chance to get rotation into the squad, keep everyone happy. Hopefully we can go on decent cut runs in all competitions this year. But as you can see, Dembele has won the game for us with uh, that penalty into the bottom left-hand corner. Sent the goalkeeper the wrong way. So we are going to progress through to the next round of the Carling Cup. I do love that animation as well now. Rather than just having like the EA Sports emblem come up, you actually get the, the, uh, the Capital One Cup come up for the uh, for the cut scene which is uh, a really really nice touch makes it that little bit more realistic as well so uh, definitely please do feel free to leave the video a like if you did enjoy guys of course there will be links in the description and on screen over the subscribe button to subscribe if you haven't already and if you did miss the previous video in this series there will be a link on screen over the play emblem to that video and then links in the description to both Tottenham career mode and Pac-Man playlists should you have missed anything over the last few days so thank you very much for watching guys and I will see you next time